Good, good afternoon, uh, members of the media. Uh, thanks for joining us um, to the post-match presser for the game that was between Richards FC and Mackenzie FC. Uh, coach, let me start kick off by asking you how would you assess the 90 minutes of the game? No, um. Yeah, hugely, hugely, hugely disappointed, hugely. Especially how we started the game. I think we started very bright, uh, brightly. Um, it was a poor position in terms of creating some chances as well. Uh, finally, we got the ball into the penalty area on numerous occasions. And just failed to, to connect or failed to get the right um, quality of the season on it. Um, other than that, um, we knew they were going to threaten us on the counter, so our counter press were very good. We managed to turn the ball over um, very high and kept them at bay. And our rotation and in between the lines was very good as well, and ultimately get the ball into an area where we can hurt them, and we did. Unfortunately, nothing to show for it. For it. It's, been, it's been so far our Achilles heel for where we are. And it's something that we work on and try to eliminate. Um, mistake from Ian Pirates, mistake from Chipo today. And it's one goal and one mistake at the moment. Um, and we, we sort out that. Normally we're not a team that gives away much in terms of a structure, but it's individual mistakes at the moment. Um, do we change personnel or do we keep the faith and allow him to go? Because the amount of Accumulation of fatigue over over this period of time against the play also this weekend, uh, this week, and that lapse of concentration that's what tiredness does. But I also feel in saying that we played at a very good intensity. Um, Magizi was on the back foot for majority of this game and looked to counter attack, and, and that's the game plan at the moment. Um, we came into it a different structure, a different formation to to counter the the counters. And yeah, they got a goal, they got a mistake. And, and, and yeah, the other chance they got was after they scored, which normally the concentration level drop after conceding a goal. But um, that's natural not to worry about that. Um, but it's, it's mentality, it's mentality. We, we can't be okay with mistakes, we can't be okay with one goal and one goal. And we are still worried about that goal, yet we created chances today. So, thank you. Thank you. Can yeah. I take the first set of hands? Three. Yes. Yes. Good uh, afternoon, Coach. Congratulations on the loss. Um, since I'm sorry, in the media. Um, coach, we saw you start the game up today in an unfamiliar, in an unfamiliar setup, maybe during your time of Richard's day. We saw they at the back and big backs today. Um, how did you think that failed against this against the team and possibly the reason behind that? Um, yeah, um, we knew it with Wonderboy Makubu is going to run the channels on the, on the counter attack. Um, and then, of course, if you're going with, with the four at the back, um, a flat four, and you push on your wing backs, then you're very vulnerable in our spaces. And he's very good at, at attacking the spaces in the wide areas to encounters. And that's what we wanted. Um, if you notice that um, Keenan and Zepo also just step in into that area to the left behind. That they left open, and uh, we did that well. And in hindsight, our, our front three was a bit narrow um, to keep them closer, but together. Then we overloaded on the sides in the one v ones with um, Sykes and uh, and Ranzen. Um So we had personnel to counter to counter press if we lose the ball, and we did it successfully on, on sometimes. And I think in the, in the first of they got out maybe maybe uh, two or three times. But um, we managed to deny the back with the three that we left behind. Um, in the second half, because we're chasing a goal, we have to throw this, uh, the whole sink in the kitchen and everything at them to, to try and get in. Which we did, but um, of course after that we, we lost Bafana. Then we tweaked it again um, to try and get in the game. We brought on Seba Nuri to make it a bit more ugly and, and, and play of him. But um, yeah, once you want all behind you, you have to go. But 
of course you understand how I, how I open up with the 3 4 3. Uh, afternoon, coach. How luck on the loss today. Uh, I'm Sunday here from Soccer Lab Dorma. Uh, back to back losses now, coach. The goal scoring rules are continuing. How do you mentally lift the troops now? Obviously, you've got the, the international break to sort of reassess. But what is it that do you think that you need to do to sort of lift the group mentally and to start like, believing that they can win games and score goals? Look, that's, that's, that, that's the problem. That is the problem. Because when you look at the coach to motivate you, <laughs> then you have nothing, um, nothing to think about. Because I can teach you football, I can teach you everything. But when you look at these ingredients, the will, the determination, the motivation, the drive, it's inside. And that I can't coach. And that I can't coach. With uh, some players, I'm not saying my boys, that I'm talking in general, but some players, it's okay to lose. And then just grow. You got it? I'm not saying it's just way. I'm talking in general. And that's the... Um, and once you look for a coach to say, do that, do this, let's motivate, let's go, then you're in the wrong sport because you're in the sport to, to win. To win all the time. And that's the pressure these athletes have. But if you're looking at the coach, and, and, and that's the, also in the game today, you find coaches on the touch like screaming, going, going. The moment, the day the coach is quiet, can you play without him? And that's the questions we need to ask and then look at everybody. I understand because why are we coaching during the week? Because if you can't transfer from training to the game, then you have a problem. Then, you, then this level is too high for you. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Uh, coach, hard luck on the lose today. Uh, looking at now the status of the tournament, you may crash out on the semi final. Do you think alone that can help your players uh, to motivate them when they come to the league? Or do you think it can give them that courage that we're looking for as the best? It, it, it's a bit of a blow. I know they wanted it. I, I, I know they wanted to go to the final. They've been here before last season and, and that's it. Um, how they take it, I, I haven't really summed it up. Um, I haven't spoken to anybody out there yet. Um, it was a bit of a gut go. Uh, gut feeling or one in the gut to, to lose like this, especially dominating and, and if nothing to show for it. Um, but, but that's the nature of the game, it, it's result driven. Whether it was negative football that we faced, that's, that's what my is about and that's the game plan. And we have to respect that, but I feel we played very well. It's one of our bitter games in fact. But, um, and, and I think that's why I'm so... Because we, we try, we started off the league with a 3-4-3, three, three. Uh, the league program, but the the winner against Galaxy, then we changed the 3 4 4 3 2. And we tried the 3 5 2 against Pirates, and now we're at the 3 4 3. So, so yeah, it's 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 getting the goal, it's about going forward, it's becoming an attacking team, it's about the mentality. And then looking into it, of course, I have to assist, but luckily, like I said, now um, there's some time to get over this and, and work on uh, our shortcomings at this moment. Uh, conversation on the last coach, um, you know, when you express yourself into a bit of disappointment, but I'm just looking at this as a, I'm sure from one side also, the coaching team is, I mean, looking at the coaches are facing here. Yeah. Oh, definitely, Duke, definitely, definitely. Um, I think when Maghese and ourselves got the draw, we said, uh, going to the final. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and yeah, um, I think the sofa is from, from our side, so it's, it's usually disappointing. It was a really opportunity to get to the final and make history for, for it was by law to make the province proud and we just couldn't get over it. Coach, Coach, obviously we've been talking about goal scoring as a concern. You've got a you've got good Jumena, maybe not necessarily out and out striker and also uh Hatevi from Ulu from Kaiser Chiefs and attacking option. What's the issue there? Why can't they seem to, to get going? This Hatebe hasn't kicked the ball, who do in and out of the team. Is it, is it injuries? Is it just mentality not getting into it at the start of the season? Um, with, with Sabelo, um, if, if you remember, he didn't go on pre-season with Chiefs to Turkey. And he came to us a bit unfit and we had to look at getting his fitness levels up. Um, that's there, the boys been working up. 
it's been working hard, extremely hard, but when you find yourself in a program, a league program like this, when you play every 72 hours, there's hardly time to to get the training matches, to create a competitive environment with match minutes. Because even if you live on training, yeah, it is there, but, but it's unlike the, the game, and that's what you want to create. He's missing that at the moment, um, and, and that's why maybe um, you're not seeing him at this moment. But, um, of course, um, there's some, some spin, suspensions now in that midfield, you well, really have to look at it, and then you're going into the FIFA break as well. I understand what, what, what Kutum, yeah, um, a bit in and out, uh, in terms of the personnel that is playing at the moment as well. You find the team also on the sidelines. Um, we've promoted Mandela, we've promoted um, Spuzo, um, Justice has been playing in a 10 as well, so, um, yeah, um, I wouldn't say spoil for choice, but getting the right person now in there. And at this moment, it's about making some tough decisions about who playing. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, that concludes. Uh,